Welcome back to Iceland Bay. I have a few big spaces left. One of them is this and I... It is basically the biggest space I have left. And today I am going to decorate it. For those of you who have been following me for a while, know that um, most of my island themes include a reading, studying, library type place in one way or another. Well, this is just a part of a big space that I am going to convert in some type of science fiction-ish library. Well, I can't explain it, but just keep watching. I hope it makes sense and it is a big build. So what I have to say and what is going to happen is let's start the speed build. And this space is going to be my library. I have tried. Um, out the things I want to place here and if it fits and you think well it's a big space why would you have to try that out well I am using a lot of 2.0 uh, items in this build well basically on my entire island and some of those things and I have just said it before uh, well more than a gazillion times I think uh, some of those things are huge so I have tested it and basically it should fit now you're uh, probably wondering why uh, if this is a library um, I am using fences and um, display cases well the first books will appear now but because we are on a science fiction themed island and well the lore says that we are in outer space there are no books anymore um as you can see a lot of machines are going to be added um, which you can use to study and to read on and guess where our beloved books are going to be oh and of course sweet roswell is going to give me a gift a bingo wheel I really don't know what to do with it but well I love him and he is meaning well and here are the rope partitions well not close enough yet but see I'm going to protect the precious books with a row partition like they are in a museum and some bigger more impressive libraries do have art displays or history displays and that's what this is uh, on my far away planet Books are history. Um, most of you who have watched me before know that I usually jump in and out my storage. Of course, I edit it all out, but this time I I was prepared, or at least I was prepared a little bit, which means that I already put some things down for which I already knew 
the spot I was going to place it. I am going to be a little bit symmetrical around this build more because I really want to put some things down and I hope by being symmetrical it will work better of course it's not completely symmetrical because well that will be boring and um also because it's pretty close to the camping sp camp spot campsite i wanted to add a little bit of touristy things And here I am looking at everything and if it is mm, as symmetrical as I hope it is and in my mind in the future We will read in different ways, of course, we have these big tables and I think we can just sit next to one and read our favorite book right there on the table. And I'm sorry Ioni for putting that chair almost completely in your face. Um, it is hard enough as a squirrel to <laughs> survive the rainy weather we've been having and then I start putting furniture in her face but luckily she's very sweet so she won't she doesn't really mind she doesn't really complain um, well a lot of people, including myself, already read on their tablets, so that's not very sci-fi, but still I think maybe it is a little bit old school for the older villagers to read. from a tablet but of course there's also I'm also using the gaming desk and well there's se several things that are more computery and more sci-fi and I think we can read on on those I think in the future there are going to be a lot of contraptions where you can read on and of course I have added that was not what I was planning to do but of course that does happen to me a lot on this island because well it's completely covered in this kind of paths well uh, here I'm checking of course if the things I want to be symmetrical are symmetrical and that is when I start to add um, the things that mimic trees and well give that will give the build a little bit of health uh, not health height give the build a little bit of height As you can see, I will make a little jump <laughs> because I didn't want you to have to sit through me trying to figure out what else to get. And as you can see, I got a lot of things. 
And a lot of these things are the finishing touches, not everything. Um, there are still a few bigger items, but most of them are finishing touches, like um, putting books in the pots and starting to put down the little gyroids who are everywhere. Um, I am placing here um, the very last of my decaying trees. Um, I don't have the DIY yet. I have been <laughs> waiting to find it, but nope, it's not happening. Luckily, I have several very nice friends who I can look at and smile and say please make me a few more and usually they do and then when I say you know at the next giveaway you can take them back uh, strangely but they don't want to so when I start my new theme I will do as every half year uh, yeah every six months I will have a big giveaway and what well, Let's say I can predict a lot of decay trees um, in that give giveaway and a lot of, well, utility poles probably and things like space shuttles. So if you don't want any anything like that, just I suggest to stay away from my island for the well, foreseeable future. <laughs> Because I'm going to, after I'm done, after it's all on the dream address, I'm going to give everything away. But now I'm happy with my utility poles. That way I can pretend I have something uh, more or less like a tree. And my big gear thingies. As you can see, the campsite is just in front of it. And it is, this is going to be the big touristy thing on the island. And while I try to figure out how to put the satellite uh, down without making it horribly inaccessible okay you see some shrubs over there I don't know I wanted to use them in one way or another because they're blue and I thought maybe they would fit in the theme but they don't so they are going to be sold and as you can see the finishing touches and the only living items that I have on the island are some some types of flowers and of course the glow moss and well the teeny tiny coconut sprouts I just need a little bit of green and on my island. I just can't live with just a little bit of green. So, of course, stars have fallen. And I think uh, I just about uh, am no longer a five star island. Um, with the star fragments I'm dropping and I just want to have a little bit of color because 
whatever I do on this island, the only pops of color are, well, more or less the gyroids. So I decided to leave it at this. Um, And here we go, a little tour, a little walk around, showing the past and the future and the present of reading, a little bit of looking back to earth with the globe. Of course the happy gyroids, because whatever build I'm going to do from now on is going to have some gyroids in it. I like using those transport stops, those are also the places where uh, I s uh, go and look if I miss one or more of my villagers, uh, I have m I have these things sitting around my entire island, and well, you can imagine when they use those, it is hard to find them. I think it turned out pretty fun. I'm glad I put it in this big spot and not in a some the other place I first thought of building it because now you can still walk around and actually just well have a read, sit down and well some of my spots are so filled up with stuff that my island lags and not just a little bit it is a terrible terrible lag oh well well <coughs> i have a little tour i'm going to give you that's why i sat down for a bit um i am going to show you what i did during stream it was my last building stream for Animal Crossing. Um, I'm not going to stream Animal Crossing much anymore, uh, except for special things, um, like when I'm doing a maze, or if I'm doing a villager hunt, or well, things like that. But that's the only reason for me to um, stream Animal Crossing. I'm going to make videos, speed builds, let's plays, and those kind of things. So let's walk around a little bit. I'm going to show you some of the parts I still have to do. Um, my own yard, my own house. <coughs> I think the house itself I will do um, only the outside changes, <coughs> but the outside um, I want to do the yard. Um, the flowers are going to disappear, I'm going to make a sci-fi beach. Um, this build has been waiting on me basically finishing the pathing and it's not going to be a huge build but it's my little robot street. I also still have to do the outside of Petrie's house. The inside is perfect. I'm going to leave it like that. <coughs> so this is going to be my next build. That's my promise. I really am going to do this one next. And then we're going to walk over to what I did during stream. Uh, this is just a little spot I still have to connect, but, well, my vines, I needed more vines and I need more stones, so I'm going to be doing some island hopping, 
to get more stones um, for the things I need to build. Well, during stream I built um, everything around you see around here. <coughs> it is well a kind of a hiking trail, but sci-fi style. It's the only spot in the island that isn't developed by Nook Inc. It's still the way it was when Nook Inc. came to the planet. And <coughs> of course it leads to the house of our very own alien queen, Ioni. In an earlier stream I already did everything around and behind her house and the last stream I did before this video and also the last stream animal crossing stream building stream I did at all well I thought it was fun to just do this as you can see especially this bit it it lags um, in this video it's not that bad, but sometimes I walk that way and it's like the furniture and all the items just pop. <laughs> well, <coughs> that's it for today. Um, the build of my library, a little, a tiny, teeny, tiny little tour of the things I did during stream and not in videos <laughs> so as I said the very first thing I'm going to build is the little streets with the robots and I th think I will do Petrie's house off camera. I'm not going to change her in not going to change the inside of her house, just the outside to match them with everything else. Uh, my own house is going to match too, so that's also something I'm going to do <coughs> before I go on. And then there are a few little corners I will do the area next to here that's around my house I'm going to turn it into kind of a backyard I don't know area where you can have your friends over and then well, that then this theme is done. Just like this video is almost done. I hope you enjoyed this build. And as always, there's only one thing left to say. And that's... Doodooing!